All right, guys, we're gonna show you how to make the salmon cakes. All right, so we start off first by baking our salmon. You don't have to fully bake the salmon um, because you're gonna cook it later in the skillet as well. But if you'll notice, sometimes the salmon gets kind of juicy and we'll just scrape it up. If there's a lot of liquid left in the bowl, sometimes I'll take a paper towel and kind of try to soak it up because that will lessen the amount of um, oats that you'll need to use to keep the cakes together. This is about two pounds of meat, or about two pounds of salmon, so we're gonna kinda double up the recipe. So two eggs. Whoop. And then we're gonna take our spinach. I put about a cup and a half of spinach in there. Eyeball the Parmesan cheese, just a little sprinkle. gonna have about two tablespoons of mustard. Here we're using spicy mustard. You can use Dijon mustard as well. Um, onion powder or green onions. We didn't have any green onions, so we're just gonna get that onion flavor in with a little sprinkle of onion powder and some garlic powder. Then you do about a teaspoon of salt per pound, probably a little less. You can always add salt later, but you can never take it out, so don't get crazy. Next, I'm gonna just eyeball the Greek yogurt. About a half a cup, that's what we'll start with, a half a cup first, and then about a um, quarter or half a cup of the oats in this two pounds and let's see what happens. If we need to, we'll just add more oats if the mixture is really loose. It's looking like it's gonna need some more oats, so that's all I'm gonna do. You don't have to be super exact on the oats either. I know some of y'all are probably thinking that it's, you know, carbs, adding more carbs or whatnot, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to make that big of a difference. You're not eating that many of the oats in the whole batch. I may add just a little bit more Parmesan cheese, just because I like it. <laughs> The oats are just gonna soak up some of that moisture if your um, salmon was a little bit juicy. And that's getting to the about the consistency. That might be good to work with. They're gonna be a little delicate whenever you put them into the skillet, but as long as you don't move them around too much and you keep them on a low heat and just kinda let them cook slower, um, they'll start to stick together and kind of create a little seal with the crust. Okay, so that's what the mix looks like. It's pretty stiff now, so you should be good to go making your patties. Okay guys, now we're gonna form the patties. I just take a little bitty handful, and it's gonna feel pretty loose, but it should stick together in a good size little ball here. And then put it on my sheet about the size of my palm, maybe a little bit bigger. Kind of pack it together like a little hamburger patty. All right guys, we got this on about medium low heat. I did a little test to see if it was hot enough, and now we're gonna add in a cake. Yes, they're gonna be delicate, 
Just try to keep them together because they'll seal up once they start cooking. Make sure it's not too, too hot or the outside burns before the inside gets a chance to kind of stick together. What are we talking about? No, Alright, they've been going for probably about two minutes and now I'm just going to check them to see how stiff they may be. This is kind of a delicate part of it because it could break apart. Or not. They could have gone a little bit longer, but it's starting to kind of golden up. Nice. Let's check the other ones. Yeah, that could go. They're, these are kind of big. I like my salmon cakes bigger. You want to caution um, your heat, so it's better to go lower and slow than fast and high. So right now, I even had to turn down the heat or on a gas stove, and that's a little bit different than you know cooking on a um, no, normal stove top. But um, we're about low to medium, more so on the low side while cooking these guys. Let's see how this guy's doing. See, they're staying together pretty well. As long as you don't move them a lot and just kind of let them set and cook together, they shouldn't fall apart. So these are going to go for another two minutes, two to three minutes on each side. I'm going to keep checking it, make sure I don't burn it, but as long as the heat up's not too high, they shouldn't burn and they'll get nice and golden and crispy. All right, guys, this has been on there for about three minutes or so, probably longer. We lost track of time, but that's okay. They're nice and golden, and they stick together. So, I'll we'll do it again. That guy, the other side, put him over here. You see, they shouldn't be really falling apart. Nice and crispy.